A VPN, a virtual private network, protects the automation cell especially against frauds who cheat, trick, and deceive you. How do these frauds operate? In the Internet or via its logs, every node can exchange data with any other node. This procedure is rather simple and is based on packages with senders and recipients' addresses. Masquerading by falsifying the sender's address, for example, is not a great technical challenge for such a fraud. He will simply overwrite the sender's address. In this way, the frauds manage to gain the recipient's trust by tricking them and can read out or modify process data by means of faked sender's address, for example. A VPN protects against falsifying sender's addresses, also known as spoofing. But a VPN also offers effective protection against hijacking, replay, sniffing, and man-in-the-middle attacks. In order to avoid any such frauds, the VPN is used as a mechanism for protection. VPN puts up a virtual private network among two partners. You can imagine it like a tunnel where attackers and frauds simply bounce off. From the inside, the VPN looks like a normal network. Nothing special has to be observed for the addressing and configuration. For building up a VPN connection, one partner is the server and the other one is the client. So what happens when the connection is made? 1. The VPN server waits for the other partner. This means the client to address a connection inquiry directly to it. Second, in the connection inquiry, the client suggests an encrypting and authentication method to the server. Third, the server and the client agree on a procedure both partners support. The tunnel is built up and the network nodes behind the VPN client and server can now communicate on a safe channel. Thank you.